XOR gate using NAND gate. This is the symbol for NAND gate. This is the symbol for XOR gate. Here we can see this is the Boolean expression for XOR gate. Y is equal to A encircled plus B. Now in XOR gate, if there is odd number of ones in the input, that time the output will be high. Otherwise, the output will be low or zero. Here we can see this is the XOR gate equivalent symbol. So here this is OR gate, this is NAND gate and this is AND gate. So its output will be similar to XOR gate. Now again this is also the Boolean expression for XOR gate. Y is equal to A encircled plus B is equal to A plus B in one bracket into A dot B bar. Now we have to make XOR gate using NAND gate. So here we can see there are total 1, 2, 3 and 4 number of NAND gates used. So here at this point A and B are the inputs. So from this NAND gate the output will be A dot B bar. Now at this stage the output will be this A. This A will be the input for this NAND gate and this A dot B bar will be the another input for this NAND gate. Now in NAND gate the output will be this A into A dot B bar to the whole bar or complement. Now if we simplify this so this will be A in bracket A bar plus B bar whole bar. This is according to De Morgan's second theorem. According to De Morgan's second theorem A dot B bar is equal to A bar plus B bar. Here we can see we have replaced this A dot B bar by A bar plus B bar. Now same for this. Here we can see the input will be A dot B whole bar one input and another input will be this B. So output for this NAND gate will be B dot A dot B bar whole bar. Now again according to De Morgan's second theorem this A dot B bar can be replaced by A bar plus B bar. Now again if we use this as a input for NAND gate then its output will be A plus B dot A dot B whole bar which is same for XOR gate. So this is how we can make XOR gate using NAND gate.